It wasn't like it is today, what everybody makes it out of. You know, it was the, it was the enjoyment of me and Eric being baseball players, playing ball together, and the kind of team we had. Eating and, zucchini bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, tearing up that zucchini bread every, <laughs> every yeah. morning. Would you like uh, to tell that story? Oh, man. Well, uh, in 1979, we um, played in the Connie Mac Pacific Regionals up in, in Redmond, Washington. And we stayed with this family, this uh, rich family that owned the local newspaper. And every morning, you know, th th they were elderly couple, and she had to be about uh, 65 or 70 years old, and so was he. And every morning, see, when we went up there, see, we didn't have money to stay in hotels, so what they did was they uh, <laughs> put us up with different families. And, and we slept in the same water bed. It was a humongous water bed. <laughs> I mean, a humongous water bed. You know what I'm saying? This was, I don't think they even have these kind of water beds. <laughs> you know, but... Well, see, every time, I'm, every time I tell that story, you want to clarify and make sure it was like... It was, you know? <laughs> I want to make, this wasn't a, 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 a twin water bed. <laughs> no, this was a big bed. I, I mean, you know, evidently there... How big was it? This was a huge bed. <laughs> Believes that it was huge, but evidently they had had some children because it was like a five, four or five bedroom house, and like I said, this huge water bed. But uh, e every morning she, she would make us breakfast. You know, I don't. Well, our, our coach Earl Brown paired everybody up, and you know, but by me and Daryl being the you know the toast of the team, we stayed with the guy that ran the whole town. And uh, she used to make, that's the first time I've ever had zucchini bread. And we used to spread that margin on it. And every time we woke up, they, she, she'd have breakfast waiting for us. And it was just awesome, you know. And that was the first time I ever had zucchini bread. That's why we laugh about that all the time. <laughs> oh, we anticipate on eating that zucchini bread every morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was a key to our success yeah, deal, that, that zucchini bed. bread. We yeah. got out of that bed every morning looking for that zucchini yeah. bread. It was like, where is it? And he let us drive their car, even though we was only... What, what, 15, 16 years old? Yeah, about 16, yeah. Yeah, you four is your driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he steps to the plate, I look in the seats. I don't know why. You know, I always turn, I look in the right field seats. I don't know why I do that. It's probably because, how many home runs you got against him? <laughs> I don't know, I got a, a lot of home runs. Yeah, about 19 or 20 of them, right? Well, I don't want to be discussing that on him. Television, you know, and it's too late. And they stop throwing to me. You know, well, we walk in you anyway. <laughs> but I don't know why. First thing that comes to my mind is I pull for him. And you know, he's like a brother to me. And it's like I want to see him do well. You know, it's, it's always been that way with me, and that's that's the way it's gonna always be, you know, no matter you know what the circumstances are, I'm playing against him, but I Sincerely, in my heart, pull for him because you know I really love and care for him, and and I want him to do well. And if he beats us, he beats us. I mean, that's basically what we deal with, you know. And, you know, I come running by, smiling from time to time. He goes, just missed that one home. <laughs> I took a home run once. Still one of my home runs. I ain't right. I would have had 40 that year. But see, had I known you was going to over 39. Or you, you could have pulled up late. Or you could have just used your wild imagination and said, well, my homie might hit 40 home runs. This one I take away. And plus, mm -hmm. the score was 0 0. So you could have won was one run. Well, at the time, it was the seventh inning. Yeah, we would have won 1 nothing. See, then we'd have been two and a half back instead of game and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think you can leave. Oh, no. Oh, that's oh, wind blown. No. That's wind blown. You ain't making it in the green. Are there ever any aspirations of the two of you playing on the same team, whatever team it might be? That would be the uh, icing on the cake. Um, it, it would be unbelievable because of the fact that uh, the relationship we have, the, the type of players that we both are, uh, it, it would be interesting, you know, and I hope that it will come true one day. Well, all I got to say is 
come out come to La La Land, <laughs> and we'll be in Hollywood, and it won't be no prime time. It'll be showtime in uh -oh. La La Land. Uh-oh. I like that. I like that. I might have to put my shades on or something. <laughs>